After gathering in Miami for a few days of training, the U.S. men's national team has arrived in Antigua and Barbuda ahead of their final two matches in this round of qualifying for Brazil 2014. And even though the players know a win does not guarantee them a spot in the hexagonal in 2013, they are clearly focused and have a sense of urgency knowing a win gets them that much closer. You know, you get to the last two games, two games where, where we need points, and for sure there's a sense of, of uh, excitement, there's a sense of, of feeling like we need to step on the field and, and get the job done. And so, you know, the, obviously we've dropped a few points along the way and, and we're not happy about it, but at the same time, you know, that, that's how qualifying goes sometimes, you know, that's, that's life. And so at the end of it, to, to be able to put all, everything else aside and, and step on, on the field in these last two games and, and just be committed to doing whatever it, whatever it takes to get ourselves to the next round, that's, that's what it's all about now. Well, we need to play a high tempo, you know, we need to pressure them, uh, but smart, smart. You know, if, if they make a few passes and break the pressure, then we need to get people behind the ball and, and not leave ourselves exposed one-on-one -on -one because, you know, who, we don't know what it's going to be like tomorrow. We, we see there's a bit of wind. The rain could become an element, a factor. So, you know, we just need to make sure that, you know, we always uh, are covered at the back and we're smart and we don't give anything up. And then, um, you know, we'll create chances. We saw in the first game in Tampa that they're a team that um, is, is going to be disciplined, is going to be committed to making the game hard on us, um, you know, and, and on our end, we're, we're making sure that we, the things that we can control and the things that we're going to be about when we step on the field are all going to be, are all going to be right. And so, you know, we're, there's, there's a good confidence about, about us that says that, you know, when, when we step on the field tomorrow, if we're able to do those things, if we're able to, to you know, make it a game that they're not comfortable in, that, that in the end, you know, our, our quality will come out. You know, obviously it's tough losing guys like that and, and Landon Breck and, and uh, Edgar. I mean, it, it, it's tough because they're good players, but at the same time there's guys in behind them that are, are waiting for their opportunity. And, and I think um, tomorrow night could be an example of that. You know, the, the, the lineup might be shuffled a little bit, um, but I think guys will come in and, and won't miss a beat. You know, and I think everybody has confidence in one another. And I think that's the biggest thing, um, you know, overall, uh, we'll go out there and give it all, and, and uh, we'll come out with a result. A reminder, you can watch the match versus Antigua and Barbuda live on BN Sport with coverage beginning at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. You can also follow the match online at ussoccer.com's Match Tracker and via Twitter at USSoccer.